seconds. Four. Oh, hang on a minute. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary O'Connor with the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health here in Anchorage. We are grateful to Alaska Public Media and their sponsors for allowing us to bring you hangar flying. This evening, we are pleased to have back on our program, Mr. Jason Young. Welcome back, Jason. Thanks for having me. So Jason was the winner of the Ginny, Ginny Hyatt Memorial Scholarship that was granted by the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation. And we would like to uh, talk about how you found out about the scholarship. Uh, well, I have an advisor um, at, the college, at the college that I'm going to that um, pointed me in the direction of a, a separate scholarship. And uh, through the course of doing all the background paperwork for that, I came across this one as well. And once you're in scholarship application mode, you might as well just do as many as you can. <laughs> That's exactly right. No sense inventing all that work over again. Yes. So all of the scholarships uh, with the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation are worth up to $1,500 each. Were you able to use the money or what do you plan to do with it? Uh, you know, the, of, of all the things that I've been able to uh, learn how to do over the course of my flying career, um, getting a tailwheel endorsement is very hard to do in the lower 48. None of the schools mm -hmm. down there really offer that. And so after moving up here, it's been a personal goal to get that. And uh, this is going to help me achieve that. So you have worked as a professional pilot and a commercial pilot. Why do you want a tailwheel rating? Um, you know, it, it's, that's, that's the real flying. I mean, to be 100% honest. <laughs> well, you sound like an Alaskan there. <laughs> so, um, you mentioned that your um, coursework and your degree are going to be through Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Mm -hmm. Are your classes online or in person? Uh, it's both. Um, most of the modality that I've taken right now is online. Um, once I get into some of the more higher level classes towards the very end, they do offer them here. But since this is a satellite campus, there's very small class sizes and my particular degree isn't something that they have a lot of kids going towards so it's nice because it's flexible um, I can start classes every month and they have everything on the East Coast which you know if you're in Alaska it makes your due dates a little early but other than that it's pretty flexible oh good good um, you mentioned in our last program that um, your stay-at-home dad and um, we've talked previously, you stopped flying eight years ago, <laughs> and since then, uh, you've been Mr. Mom. Yep. <laughs> and uh, you also help a friend out with his business when you can, and in addition to going to school, um, you're juggling a lot of balls at once there. Yep. <laughs> what's, what's your biggest challenge in finding a, a healthy work-life balance? Um, you know, you, my wife would probably be a better one to answer that than me, um, but it, I think it's order of priority you know I'm a dad first husband second um, student third and then uh, everything else kind of falls in line after that um, I do my best to try and get everything done that I need to do for my kids and if I got time to do more stuff afterwards then I'll do that I just decided to be a ski coach too so I'm gonna add some more to the, the pot right <laughs> <laughs> um, and we um, talked briefly about um, instructing and wanting to go back to instructing mm. and the possibility of instructing um, your sons. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be a good life goal, I would say. At least get them interested in doing it. I'm not, I'm not by far not going to push my kids towards doing it as a career if it's not something they're interested in. Um, I mean, looking back at how I struggled with financing and I moved all over the country to get different parts of my rating, it was quite a difficult road to do it the way that I would do it. Mm -hmm. And if my sons wanted to go to school to be a pilot, I would definitely push them more towards the military avenue of, you know, a good structured education at the same time. Exactly. And there's the, a lot more security in that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows where aviation is going to be yeah, in the next you know, I, uh, 10 I, I ended years. up living out of my truck at one point in time during my uh, commercial rating, so. <laughs> that is a dedication to aviation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good for you. So where should we look for you in five years? Uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully somebody in town finds a, a spot for me that I'll fit into and I'll be able to uh, enjoy seeing Alaska from up above. Um, but uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> um, you're looking at a position in safety or management, um, not necessarily back in piloting in the cockpit? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to be pretty flexible as far as what I'm doing. I think my uh, life schedule is going to be the more of the dictator. I'm going to need to uh, not be gone all the time. It's going to be, uh, we've, we've adjusted to me being around, so I think that those would be some pretty big shoes to fill if I'm gone all the time. Absolutely, and I think that's a common problem uh, <laughs> with, with the piloting lifestyle. It yes. is very difficult yes. uh, to manage both. But uh, congratulations on the scholarship. Well, thank it, you. It sounds like you've done a fantastic job <laughs> um, keeping all those um, family life, um, school work, and ski coach. Um, <laughs> keeping all those going at once. Well, so thank you. we wish you the best of luck. All right. And uh, we hope to see you back here uh, in your position once you're done with school. I'll come back anytime. <laughs> all right, thanks, Jason. I'd like to thank Alaska Public Media for allowing us to bring you Hangar Flying. And we'd like to thank the donors and the members of the Alaskan Aviation uh, Safety Foundation, which make the scholarship opportunity possible. Until next time, Fly safely.